Hey guys, how's it going? It's Cody Orgel coming to you guys with a very exciting video today. Last night I just picked up my dream full drive, my dream adventure mobile. And I'm going to give you guys a bit of a look at it and uh, show you guys. I'm super excited. It's been about like one whole month in the making. I found out from a family member who was selling this car that I was getting it a month ago. And I've been waiting that whole time patiently. And finally last night I was able to get the keys and seal the deal and buy it and pick it up and it's sitting in the driveway right now so let me show you let's have a look you know what actually what I might do is we'll go somewhere more adventurous and uh, give you guys a, a better look at it but uh, oh there she is just waiting there for me oh can't look now just wait so for all you OG subs out there who have been following me since the beginning you would know that I Dip my toes in some van life and I got a van back in the day uh, and did a bit of adventuring here and there and that. I did realize though, yes, there's plenty of space to live in, which is amazing, but it was limited in terms of off-road capabilities. And this beast, this rig is a very capable machine and it will be able to take me to the far corners of Australia and bring you guys along on some freaking amazing adventures and I can't wait. Do you want to go on an adventure? Hey? Oh. <laughs> Where are you going? We gonna go on an adventure? This rig is the snorkel, the custom snorkel that's fitted to it. Ready? Listen to this. It just sucks in the air and you can hear it. It sounds mint. G'day guys, welcome. So, this is the rig. This is my new four-wheel drive. I can't even bloody believe it. So for those of you guys that don't know, uh, this is a Nissan Patrol 1999 uh, GU. And uh, what I might do is just go around the car with you guys and show you guys everything about it. Um, some of the upgrades. So first of all, I paid $12,000 for this car. So the previous owner before me put like $9,000 worth of upgrades in this rig and I'll go through those upgrades with you guys. So I like to think that I brought this for like 3,000 plus all the upgrades. In total has around 300,000 kilometers. Uh, a lot of things had to get fixed to pass a roadworthy and all that kind of stuff. So it's all like in really good driving condition. The only thing I need to really do is just give it a good service before I go on some any, you know, really extravagant big trips. But let's take a look. So first up, we'll take a look at the front of the car. And I'm getting a winch. 
upgraded to it. I don't know how much they paid individually for each upgrade, but I'm sure you guys could imagine those of you guys who are hardcore into four-wheel driving and stuff. Again, I am really new to the world of four-wheel driving. I'm really looking forward to learning a lot more about it. And also, we've got some LED lights here as well. So these are set up when I put on the high beams, all of these come on and it lights up the road like nobody's business. It's bloody amazing. Again, I'm going through this car with you guys live. I haven't really looked at the details at it. I've just realized there's a GoPro mount already on there from the previous owner, which is sick. So I was actually thinking about that because I couldn't find a GoPro mount this morning to get some shots. Um, and now I've got a spot to mount my GoPro. So taking a look at the side of the vehicle, it's got 33s and some muddies on there. Probably, I don't know, they've probably got like half tread or something like that. So I'll eventually be upgrading these probably to like 35s just to fill out that gap because it has a two inch lift. So that two inch lift needs some nice 35s I reckon just to fill out that space and make it look like more of a beast. Also I forgot to mention, it's the 4.5 litre six cylinder non-turbo. So naturally aspirated, uh, the ST model. It's a big engine. Um, but it's not turbo, but it gets up in boogies, which is pretty good. Also it comes with the Adventure Kings awning uh, already with it on the driver's side. Apparently it's really hard to undo and get set up and everything, so I'm probably not going to do that, but... There we go. Yeah, right, so... It's like a mustardy brown colour. Yeah, sick. Can't wait to set that up. Alrighty, we might have a look at the back of the vehicle. Um, starting from the outside, and then we'll get into the car and have a look. And I'll show you guys more of the uh, inside of the car as well. Ready? So we've got the nice beefy spare on the top. Don't think that's ever been used. Uh, so it's good to know you've got a full spare there if, if need be. Some nice stickers on the back here, so... Some nice adventure stickers, I, li I like the vibes. Let's have a look inside. Inside, we're treated with some titanium drawer systems. These came with the car. I'm super stoked on these. And they also come with the pieces that fill out the um, outer sides as well on here, just to make it nice and clean. It's not on there at the moment, but I'm gonna do that today or when I get a chance. And these drawers are bloody amazing. Heavy duty. That one struggles to stay uh, open when we're on a bit of a hill. But I am super stoked on these drawers because I was going to get something like this installed if I was to get a four-wheel drive and all that kind of stuff. And I'm so glad that I already got it with it. There's pretty much... I don't even really need to upgrade anything in this car. Everything is ready for adventure, so I'm really happy with that. Um, at the moment, I couldn't help myself but chuck all of my camping gear and just load the, the back of this patrol up just to see how it handled with a bit of weight in the back. So at the moment, it's got some stuff in there, but um, most of this is my camera gear and that. I did get some spare stuff, so we've got some spare belts here um, and a clamp and some electrical stuff here. Um, but the more important stuff we got here. This is really cool, I'm really happy about this. So I had a bit of an issue. My batteries weren't charged to film this video, but look at that, it's like an inverter battery thing that um, has been charging my camera batteries, I could charge my computer, all my stuff off this. It's, it's gonna be a game changer, this is amazing. So you got your 12 volt to plug into there, and then uh, I can also fit two USBs here. Currently got some batteries charging there at the moment, well, one of them. I also got a fridge with this thing. It came with a fridge. Apparently the fridge is good. It's all right. Apparently like after a couple of days it overheats or something like that. And also it comes with a sliding drawer system on the top here. So if we just get rid of some of the stuff we've got here. So at the moment the fridge is just sitting on here. It's not like fixed down or anything. But I think there's something a little wrong with this drawer system apparently. But you can also pull out the fridge. How sick is this? I love it. And, you know, obviously the fridge would be mounted up here a bit further to the back. You can just open her up. Oh, I need a bit of a clean. And uh, you get yourself a fridge. How bloody amazing. <laughs> Love it. 
Alrighty then, just taking a quick look at a few other bits and pieces that we end up getting with the car as well. This box, I think this is, um, yeah, yeah, that's right. So this is like the trim that would sit along here, along the side, just to clean up everything a bit. So I can have more storage in there. That's all the pieces for that in that box. Then also I think last that we got with the car were some other canvas things to do with the awning, I think. So these might be like awning walls or something like that to just go down the side of the of the awning. Yeah, this is what it looks like in the back. Woo. Also, taking a look at the back, I forgot to show you guys, um, you probably already saw it. Just got your little trash bag in the back here and it's empty. One of the things I love most about this car is this custom snorkel. Comes out of the bonnet, runs up the, the front, and um, it sounds bloody amazing. So it's it's by Patrol Doctor Customs. Yeah, it sounds amazing when you when you give this a bit of grunt. Just put your foot down a little bit, and uh, it really makes a nice like deep rumbling tone. Yeah, so my plan with this, I don't know, I really would like to keep this roof rack because it looks sick and maybe add some lights up here, but I think what would be even sicker, some really slim line rooftop tent and I can sleep up here, wake up in the morning with a nice view of the surroundings and then have room to store all my camping gear down in the car. And then even potentially even sleep inside the car if I needed to, if it was really too rainy. But this would be the ultimate setup, just sleeping in a tent up here. Oh, what a life. Oh, some dreamy stuff, guys. Woo! How's the weather down there? So, welcome to the inside of the rig. Hey, Jetty, how you going back there, bud? So, yeah, let me show you inside the car. First of all, it's got some really nice pink RM Williams seat covers. They're probably gonna stay on there. They're bloody really good, high quality seat covers. Um, yeah, they're probably gonna stay on there. They're pretty sick, actually. I really like the pink touch. So inside, got like a protective mat across the dash, stuck down with some Velcro, which is really cool. Um, we've got the radio that works and everything, which is sick. That will come in handy when we go out four wheel driving and stuff, we need to communicate to each other. Got a nice little cherry car scent smell in here. But yeah, this is essentially the steering wheel and everything, nothing special, uh, just the 1999 model. And it had, yeah, just 300,000 on the clock. In the back there, say hello, Jet. Show everyone around the back. You like it back there, don't you? It's a pretty clean car. She really uh, looked after it, and I'm so grateful because before I purchased it, she even gave it a really, really good clean inside. I was gonna do that today, but there's no real need to clean it. I'm probably just gonna clean the engine, so we'll take it to the car wash soon. Just clean the motor and the engine out, and we'll just clean the engine out a bit. It looks a bit filthy in there, and maybe underneath the car as well. Startup was a bit rough. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully, you enjoyed the little walk around of my new patrol. I'm really excited to share it with you guys, and I'm really excited to see uh, what adventures unfold in this new rig. So, um, thanks again for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Just doing a little bit of bush bashing. This stuff is fun. <laughs> Woo!
I didn't see that log just slid across. 